Hey there crafters, welcome to eCrafty21, your go-to spot for all things creative. Today, we've got something special for you. A guide on how to kickstart your own small business right from the comfort of your home. Exciting, isn't it? Now, to make this dream a reality, you need the right tools. Lucky for you, we've narrowed it down to just a handful of essentials. Let's dive in and discover the only equipment you need to turn your passion into profit. But before we get hands-on, let's take a closer look at the superstar equipment that'll make all of this possible. Our first equipment is a Cricut machine. A Cricut machine is a cutting device that allows users to create intricate and precise designs on various materials, such as paper, vinyl, fabric, and more. It uses computer-controlled blades to cut out shapes, letters, and patterns based on digital designs created by the user. Cricut machines are popular for crafting, scrapbooking, and DIY projects, enabling users to personalize and cut a wide range of materials with precision for various creative applications. And then we have a screen printing machine. A screen printing machine is a device used for transferring ink onto a substrate, such as fabric, paper, or plastic, through a mesh screen with stencil designs. It is commonly employed in the production of apparel, posters, and promotional items, allowing for efficient and high-quality mass printing. Next on the list is a heat press machine. A heat press machine is a device used to transfer a design or graphic onto a substrate, such as a t-shirt, by applying heat and pressure. It typically involves placing a heat transfer vinyl or sublimation paper onto the material and the machine presses down to adhere the design through the application of heat. And finally, the sublimation printer. A sublimation printer is a type of printer that uses heat to transfer dye onto various materials such as fabrics, ceramics or metal, creating vibrant and permanent full color prints. The process involves sublimation ink turning into a gas when heated, bonding with the material and producing high quality, durable images with excellent color reproduction. Take a look at this fantastic design we've got today. It's not just a pretty pattern, it's a roadmap to showcase the power of the equipment we have in store. Our design has three distinctive parts. A red segment for screen printing, a yellow section for heat transfer vinyl, and a vibrant mix of colors for sublimation printing. This little fella is getting its own spotlight. We're taking it over to the Cricut design space where the magic happens. Now, whether you're working with PNG or SVG files, uploading is a breeze. Now, let's turn our attention to design number two. Check this out. We've got a wordplay masterpiece ready to be transformed into wearable art. The plan? Each element is destined for a different machine. Let's take a closer look at our designs. The word beat is in for a special treatment, a rendezvous with our screen printing machine. Meanwhile, the UN and EN in vibrant pink will make a dazzling appearance using heat transfer vinyl. But wait, what about that word beat? We're about to take it to the next level by sending it off to the Cricut design space. Why, you ask? Well, we've got big plans to cut vinyl and give beat its own spotlight on the screen print screen. Let's dive into the nitty gritty. We're opting for vinyl as our screen material because, well, we don't have all the fancy equipment for emulsions just yet. Emulsions might be a topic for another tutorial down the road. Now, let's talk sublimation, the secret source for vibrant, lasting prints. We've got our trusty Epson Eco Tank printer, specifically the ET2800. What makes it special? Well, we've given it a makeover by swapping out regular ink for sublimation ink. Sublimation ink, check. But that's not all. We're not using just any paper. 
For sublimation, you need the A-sub sublimation paper. Remember, regular paper won't cut it here. And here's a crucial pro tip. When printing your sublimation masterpiece, always go for the mirror effect. Why? Because when it hits the heat press and bonds with your material, it'll come out in all its glory, just the way you designed it. So, let's do a quick recap. Epson EcoTank with sublimation ink, a sub sublimation paper, and always mirror your design for that picture perfect finish. Remember, when you're loading up your heat transfer vinyl onto the sticky mat, keep the shiny side down, cutting from the back, the dull side. And here's a pro tip. Check your material settings on the Cricut machine. Make sure it's set to the heat transfer vinyl setting. On this machine, it's commonly known as iron-on vinyl. Now, it's time to give our designs the precision they deserve especially when it comes to that vibrant heat transfer vinyl. For this, we turn to our Cricut cutting machine, a true crafting companion. Today, we're rocking the Cricut Explore Air 2, but the beauty of it all is you can use virtually any Cricut machine they all speak the same language when it comes to cutting vinyl. And, hey, if you have a Silhouette Cameo or any other craft cutting machine, you're good to go. So to sum it up, shiny side down, cutting from the back, check your settings, and let the Cricut magic unfold. Let's move on to the grand finale. Now that our Cricut machine has worked its cutting magic, it's time to get hands-on. Once your mat is unloaded, the next step is weeding. Not the garden kind, the crafting kind. Today, we're using the EasyWeed Stretch Heat Transfer Vinyl. It's a bit softer, a bit more flexible. Slow and steady wins the race here. Take your time during the weeding process, so you don't miss any details. You don't want to accidentally break off pieces. And hey, sometimes plans change. We initially envisioned a silver or gold bear, but with plenty of pink vinyl on hand, we decided to go that route. That's the beauty of crafting. Mix it up as you go, make it uniquely yours. Remember, when weeding, you want to keep the parts you want on your t-shirt, Everything else, peel it away. And here's a trick. Pull the material back at a sharp angle. It makes the process smoother, trust me. Now with heat transfer vinyl, there's this clear backing sheet. Don't toss that. It plays a crucial role. It goes between your vinyl and the heat press when you're ready to make the magic happen.
All right, we're at the home stretch, folks. Time to talk about the canvas for our creations, the t-shirts. Today, we've got the Make Brand polyester shirts from Michaels. Now, here's a crucial tip when dealing with sublimation prints. They're best buddies with polyester. That's right. Sublimation prints will only work their magic on polyester shirts. So, check those labels. Aim for at least 80 or 90% polyester content, and you're golden. Why the focus on polyester? Well, that's what ensures a stellar transfer. The higher the polyester content, the better the results. It's like giving your creation a perfect canvas to come to life. So, make sure your chosen shirt meets the polyester quota for that top-notch transfer. Let's keep things moving and bring it all together on our polyester canvas. All right, we've reached a critical point. The fusion of our creations onto the polyester canvas. We've strategically laid out the heat transfer vinyl sandwiching it between the sublimation designs for a seamless lineup. Now, take a look at this. The part we're about to press is mirrored. That means our print has been flipped, and here's the trick. When we lay it face down onto the fabric, it'll be right side up and read correctly. A golden rule in the world of sublimation. Always, always mirror your prints before they hit the printer. If you can read it at the printing stage, you might need a rewind. Mirrored prints ensure your design comes out just as you envisioned it. To keep everything in check, we've used some trusty heat tape. This ensures that when we press, both the vinyl and sublimation prints get their time in the spotlight simultaneously. And most importantly, they stay aligned. Now, let's talk about the crucial moment, the heat press. Before we dive in, we're using some high quality heat tape to secure our design in place. Trust me, this step is your secret weapon against ghosting and ensures those sharp edges we all love. Here's the thing, a good sticky heat tape is your best friend. It prevents any unwanted shifts during the heat press, ensuring a flawless outcome. And to safeguard our heat press, we've got a sheet of parchment paper. This not only protects the press, but also prevents any residue from transferring onto future projects. With everything set, let's fire up the heat press and bring these creations to life. Now, let's talk numbers. We're running our heat press at 365 degrees for one minute. However, every project is unique, so it's a bit of trial and error to find the sweet spot for your machine. Always test before committing to the final design. Once the timer hits zero, open up that press, but before you unveil your masterpiece, remove the cover sheet quickly. You don't want it touching anything while it's still hot. And there it is, our first part of the design, featuring that vibrant pink heat transfer vinyl and the sublimation print. Notice that plastic cover sheet from the heat transfer vinyl. It's like a burst of bright pink, adding that extra pop. Once again, that trusty plastic cover sheet makes an appearance, shielding our heat press from any residue. We're sticking to the magic number, 365 degrees for 60 seconds. It's the sweet spot for this part of the process.
As the timer hits zero, open up the heat press, and here comes the unveiling. Peel off that plastic cover sheet, and voila! But wait, there's a little something to note. Take a look at the plastic cover sheet. See how some of the sublimation color soaked into it? It's a common occurrence when sublimation ink meets vinyl or plastic while it's hot. This is something to keep in mind with any vinyl or plastic products that come in contact with the sublimation ink during the heat press. It's all part of the crafting journey. Alright folks, buckle up, because we're diving into the world of screen printing for the next part of our masterpiece. Here, we've taken the route of using Cricut adhesive vinyl, the regular kind, to craft our designs. They snugly sit on the back of the screen, ready for action. Our weapon of choice? Speedball fabric inks, straight red, right out of the container. Now here's a little secret. Use a generous amount of ink to flood your screen properly. You can always scrape off the excess and return it to the container. Better to have more than not enough. With your squeegee in hand and the screen in position, Find that sweet angle. Feel free to make a couple of passes if you fancy. After all, we're all learning, and trial and error is the name of the game. I used painter's tape to create a protective barrier, ensuring no ink strays onto the rest of the t-shirt, and helping me align my words precisely. It's a small detail, but it makes a world of difference. This is something to keep in mind with any vinyl or plastic products that come in contact with the sublimation ink during the heat press. It's all part of the crafting journey. closer look for you, the pink, a product of the heat press vinyl, harmonizing with the blue and the bottom red part, born from the sublimation print. It's all coming together in a symphony of color and creativity. And there you have it, our journey from design conception to material transformation. Crafting is a process, a journey of trial and error, and each step brings us closer to mastering our art. Crafters, I hope you enjoyed this creative journey with us today. Remember, the only equipment you need to start a small business at home is right here, a blend of passion, creativity, and the right tools. Whether it's the precision of a cricket machine, the magic of sublimation printing, or the timeless art of screen printing, the possibilities are as endless as your imagination. Now, grab those tools, unleash your creativity, and let your passion shine through. Until next time, happy crafting.